man, it's a hot one today. Uh, it's a really warm day. We're expected to hit 88. It's not like super hot, but you know, <sighs> after a long uh, episode of a bunch of cool weather, it's 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 getting warm. So, anyways, I'm gonna make this a two video, not a two part video, like a two question, two category, two. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, point is, one, quick review on, or not review, but I'm going to show you guys how um, how it is to shoot inside the Gorillas Pro um, playable spray booth. Today's the day. It's warm enough. Um, right now, the wind is not that strong, so I'm hoping it stays like this. So, so far, so good. All I got to do right now is um, uh, degrease all the panels, you know, clean them up. And then just set up my paints and guns and ready to go. I got to shoot the sealer. And um, after sealer, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the uh, the single stage. Which brings me to the second part as of to what this video is going to pertain to. And that is shooting gl uh, gloss over single stage. I cannot find any videos on people shooting gloss over single stage. And as far as being very descriptive and informative about it. Because my question is... How long do you have to let it flash um, before you can shoot it? And my other question is, um, if, if 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 there's any like uh, if there's gonna be any reactions as far as to like you know the different brand names uh, because they're obviously urethane they're urethane paint but obviously single stage and clear coat and different brand names you know they have you know data sheet says different things so the one that I'm using is a TCP Global single stage metallic um and this one says to let it flash for four hours so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna let it, i'm gonna shoot the i'm gonna shoot the um the single stage and let it flash for four hours once that's over um i'm gonna i'm shooting flake with clear which i know many would say to use the uh the base coat right the inner coat i'm gonna shoot it with clear i believe i know what i'm gonna do I believe it's going to come, I mean, I know what I'm going to do. I believe it's going to come out, it's going to come out good. Um, and the process to that is, I'm going to lower down my, uh, the pressure, not the pressure as far as like, uh, from the, uh, my needle, I'm sorry, my, the, the, the needle, the liquid needle, I'm going to turn that down so I could get a mist coat and I'm going to use my 2.5 gun. So I'm going to turn that down really low and I'm just going to mist it. So I don't build up the clear so much. And um, I'm not putting on too much flake. I'm just putting on, you know, I don't know. I'm being very, very uh, kind of frugal with it, I guess. I don't need it to be super bedazzled. Not that kind of paint job. It's just just a little bit, you know, a little hint of a flake. So, again, I'm going to use my 2.5 gun. Uh, turn down the, the fluid needle really down. Mist it on there. Give it maybe two coats of, 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 of uh, a flake. And then I'm going to come over it with uh, two coats of, uh, of wet clear. And I think that should do it. So anyways, three minutes into this video. I hope you guys are still here. Stick around. But before it goes any further, hey, guys, come on. You know the deal. Like, subscribe. Um, I don't say much of my videos because, I don't know, I just post out content because I guess it's more like the experiments I do. So if anybody, like, you know, this obviously wondering about whatever it is that they're doing and it happens to be, you know, I happen to have a video out, you can watch it. But still, like, share, subscribe. And let's get to the back. All right, guys. So I'm in here. And I'll tell you the first thing that sucks. I'll tell you about everything that sucks about this tent. And it had, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with the tent. It has to do with the uh, location it's in. And right now we're in Cali. I'm in Cali. It's 80 degrees and it feels like a freaking sauna in here. It's too hot. I already have all my panels in here. Um, I got all my stuff ready out there, ready to, you know, to get loaded onto the gun and spray. But I still have to wipe and degrease all these panels, and I, I just can't, I, I can't, I can't, I can't bear it in here, especially with the mask. I feel like I'm freaking suffocating, it's too hot. So this pissed me off because it's already late. Um, so that, that pretty much ruins my plans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till... According to the to the forecast, it's gonna be about 70 around five o'clock. I'm gonna get back in here and um, start wiping it down. 
and then start spraying the primer, start spraying the single stage. I don't think I'm going to spray the clear by tonight, so I'm going to go with the other theory that I heard of. Mind you guys, I, I've never sprayed this before, at least I've never sprayed this um, uh, single stage and clear over. So I've heard that if you let it dry it overnight, that's considering that you sprayed it at night, right? You can still spray clear over it the next morning without having to scuff it. So I might just end up doing that. Um, Man, I'm just so, I'm, dude, I'm so, I get irritated. A couple of days ago, it was raining. Before that, it was just too cold. So I could, with this tent, you can't, if the elements are just not with it, you can't, you can't do anything. I mean, if you were inside a big shop and you're using this, it would be perfect. But then again, you're inside a big shop, why would you even eat this? Unless you're trying to keep your, you know, other stuff from getting oversprayed. But anyways, yeah, man, if it's too hot, if it's too wet, if it's too cold, it's just not going to happen. So... Even with uh, running these fans right here, you can't feel it. And I thought I thought this breeze was gonna be good enough, but you know, the, the, it's, it's shooting out hot air, so. I, uh, what I did though is I did mask up anything that has a, like a sharp edge. I masked it with uh, some really thick Gorilla tape, because I'm gonna go ahead and disinflate this. I can't keep running it on this whole time. The motor's gonna get hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and disinflate this and just let it sit on top of each other. And that's it, can't do anything else, so. All right, so we get started with that.
that. Um, well, the inflatable spray, spray booth, it works. It works great under the under the under the circumstances that um, you're not battling the weather. Um, if it's too hot, it's a sauna inside. I mean, if it's too hot outside and you have the tent outside, it's a sauna inside. You're not going to get any work done. At least I couldn't get any work done. If it's too cold, well, you know, you're not supposed to shoot when it's too cold. I mean, you could you could chance it and then put some heaters on there. But here's the other downside is you only have eight hours um, on the day on through a daily use. I believe you shouldn't have it more or you shouldn't have the engine or I'm sorry, the 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 blower running for more than eight hours uh, daily. So you got eight hours to work, which is not bad if you're just doing a quick job. Like let's say like two passes a single coat. I mean a, a a single stage, but you have obviously have to remove the panels or the vehicle that's inside. You gotta obviously take it out. And if you have a car which like mine, it's not drivable. Um, you're gonna need some help to be able to do that. So again, it just it it depends. The the downside about it, the cons is that it's obviously not a very stable um booth. Um, it's a very temporary booth. Um. What else? And then obviously, just it being outside, you have to battle the uh, the 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 temperature conditions or the weather conditions. Uh, secondly, spraying clear over single stage. Obviously, it is possible. What I ended up doing was I waited um, a little bit over twelve hours. I want to say or twelve hours. I let it sit overnight. So I was done spraying like eleven thirty o'clock at night, almost midnight. And I believe I I sprayed the next day like around twelve o'clock. So yeah, give or take thirteen hours. Um, no reactions. I missed two coats first of, um, uh, a flake with clear, which I think really helped, uh, create some, or, you know, some adhesion to the single stage. And after that, I went with the, uh, wet. Um, I just shot two wet shots of clear and that was it. And then that's all I'm going to do. Again, no reactions. It, it laid out fine. It looks good. It looks great. Um, nothing's flaked out so far. It's been curing outside for a while. Uh, but, you know, only time will tell how well that's going to, you know, hold up. Obviously, like I said, this this was this was not my idea. This was something from what I've read. People let it sit overnight and then they shoot clear without having to scuff it down. Um, but again, I've had many other people tell me to shoot it at different uh, in various different flash times. Right. Like one was 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. Um, and then, of course, the minimum four hours. Which to me just makes more sense to let it dry longer, which four hours I think is optimal. But the reason why I think he's, I mean, come on, obviously the paint has to breathe. So if you guys have never had um, solvent pop, then, which I have, you know, that's just something you don't want to run into again. Um, I just feel like shooting clear over a single stage, which single stage takes a lot longer to dry. And these, this clear is supposed to take at the most an hour to dry and single stage takes a little bit longer than four hours. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I thought letting it shrink for the most amount of time was um, more optimal. So I went with that. Like I said, I don't need time with town, but yeah, uh, great product on the spray booth. Again, it'd just be a lot better if you had a garage to put the, um, you know, a huge, like a huge shop to put the spray booth inside, just to keep your shop clean you know, and keep, you know, everything <clears throat> in there, all the overspray. Not the best for outside conditions, depending on the conditions that it is. Again, too cold. I think I'd rather shoot when it's cold than when it's hot. Obviously, you can't shoot when it's hot. It's uh, it's just you feel like you're suffocating with the mask and, and everything. So, so again, cons, you you just got to, you know, be on weather's terms. Um the filtration, you definitely need a fan in there, a lot bigger than the one I was using, because that one was barely enough. I was getting a lot of cloud, clouds in there <clears throat> when I was shooting the clear. So again, filtrate it very well. Use some good ventilation, um, and the spray booth is great. Um, don't know if I would buy one another one for a thousand dollars. That's what I paid. Uh, <clears throat> I definitely buy one again if I had the shop to put it in, just to keep my shop clean. But I really don't think that I want to battle with doing it outdoors. So, <clears throat> hope that helps on those two. Anyways, long day. I'm tired. <clears throat> and I'm just not posting up this video because it's been a long week. And it's now been like, I want to say, close to 
Well, actually, it's been a week since I painted, so, all right.